Hello and welcome to Beyond the Blueprint. In today's episode, we explore South India's most ambitious rail project, the Chennai-Mysore High-Speed Rail Corridor. Stretching around 435 kilometers and designed for speeds up to 350 kilometers per hour, this corridor will revolutionize travel, slashing journey times from six and a half hours to about two hours 25 minutes. Join us as we unpack its journey, engineering feats, challenges, and the latest as of June 2025. This will be India's third high-speed corridor after Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Delhi Varanasi. Starting from Chennai, it traverses Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Karnataka, terminating at Mysore, with around nine core stations, including Chennai, Punamali, Arakkonam, Chittur, Bungarpet, Bengaluru, Shanapatna, Mandya, and Mysore. Modeled after Japan's Shinkansen, the corridor uses standard gauge 1,435mm track, and is electrified at 25 kV AC, rolling stock will be E5 series Shinkansen trains, operating at up to 350 km per hour with a comfortable 320 km per hour service. The corridor features a complex mix, elevated viaducts, tunnels, and underground stations. A 38 km viaduct between Bungarpet, Vaniyambari and a 44 km viaduct from Kapati, Arakonam. Approximately 30 km of tunnel, 2.5 km underground in Chennai, 11.8 km at Chittur, 2 km near Bengaluru, and 14 km passing through Bengaluru's dense belt. Stations are underground in Chennai and Bengaluru, while the remaining are elevated or at ground level. Systems include DSATC signaling, URITA's earthquake detection, CCTV surveillance, emergency brakes, and fire safety features, similar to Japan's world-class safety norms. As of June 2025, the corridor is making tangible strides, land acquisition, nearly complete in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. In Karnataka, approximately 53 hectares across 41 villages, impacting around 876 farmers in Mysore district. Final surveys and alignment markings, markers visible in Chittur district, signaling ground readiness. DPR and contract awards, contracts have been awarded for general alignment drawings, LIDAR, utility mapping, substation site studies, and more. Land acquisition is anticipated to finish by N2025, paving the way for construction to begin, while the detailed project report is making headway. This corridor brings transformative benefits, travel time reduction, Chennai, Mysore in 2 hours 25 minutes, from 6 and a half HRS, Bengaluru, Chennai also reduced significantly. Passenger capacity, each train set will carry approximately 750 people. It's set to attract tech professionals, business travelers, and tourists, offering a premium, high-speed alternative. The corridor will link Chennai's manufacturing and port activities with Bengaluru's IT ecosystem and Mysore's tourism spur real estate development along the route in Punamali, Whitefield, and Kengari aid job creation and improve interregional mobility reduce road and air traffic, lowering emissions strengthen southern India's economic network some hurdles remain land acquisition delays in Karnataka. Environmental clearances, especially near urban tunnels. Technical complexity of long viaducts and tunnels, with monsoon impacts. Multi-state coordination is essential. Guided by the Prime Minister's emphasis, NHSRCL is working closely with state agencies to fast-track approvals and minimize disruptions. This corridor is part of India's larger diamond quadrilateral, aiming to link Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, and Chennai via HSR lines, fostering nationwide high-speed connectivity. Today, Vande Bharat and Shatabdi services take six to seven hours between Chennai and Mysore or Bengaluru. In the future, high-speed rail will deliver two-hour and 25-minute journeys in comfort, offering onboard Wi-Fi, refreshments, climate-controlled coaches, and punctual schedules. The corridor showcases advanced engineering, twin track, grade separated design. Seismic zone compliance with DSATC and URITA's safety systems. Elevated and underground stations with efficient passenger flow. High speed viaducts for minimal traffic disruption. 
tunnel construction using modern methods like NATM. Looking forward, late 2025, preparatory on-site work begins post-final land acquisition. 2026 onwards, construction of viaducts, tunnels, stations. 2027 to 28, tracks laid, systems installed, test runs initiated. 2030, commercial operations planned, TD and commissioning will follow. Additionally, tech enhancements like AI-powered signaling, eco-friendly stations, and seamless connectivity to urban hubs are being planned. The Chennai-Mysore High-Speed Rail Corridor is more than just a project, it represents a leap for southern India's future, rapid travel, reduced emissions, integrated economies, and a new standard for intercity mobility. If this journey excites you, please like, subscribe, and share. Have questions or thoughts? Comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Beyond the Blueprint, connecting India's vision to your screen.